privately contracted with the hostel to take us for a great wall hike. We're doing um, you know I took a photo of it but I think it's gonna throw me off if I open Google Maps. Let's see. We're headed up to Jinshan Ling area. Stop my recording. Thank you. <coughs> Best Great Wall trip in Beijing. So if you die of heat exhaust exhaustion, they know who to call. Backpacking China. We drop you at start. When you get on the wall, go left to Simatai. No right. The 22nd tower has five loopholes and there is a staircase at one side. When you get through the tower, please get down from the staircase and turn right. I haven't read it, but I think we have a couple hours of uh, bus to get where we're going. So it was at least an hour to get to the airport. We're going a bit further. So I can read up on the Great Wall here. I got two guy books. <laughs> so. We're actually going to pass, I think, maybe the central business district up ahead. Let's see. Uh, so, Modi, everyone, uh, so now everybody start our journey to the Jin San Lin Great Hall. Uh, and my English name is uh, Diane, Diana. I think it's an easy name to remember because uh, my Chinese name is difficult. As a wall, the, uh, the wall is the furthest great wall compared with the other uh, great wall tours in the uh, travel agency. It's about 140 kilometers northeast of Beijing. So usually it takes us about a three hours drive uh, if there's not too much traffic. Uh, it means we will get there around 12 o'clock. Maybe it's too long time for you. It's a little bit boring for you. Uh, but it doesn't matter because later after I give a speech, you can uh, go on sleeping if you felt sleepy. Enjoy the view out of the window because it's a long way and it's a, it's a really a, it's really a nice day. Yeah. And uh, talk with each other, uh, but not now. So I have the I have the first question for you. Uh, do you know how long the Great Wall is in China? The total length of the Great Wall. Three thousand. Uh, not so long. Not that long. <laughs> 6,000 yeah. 6, and three. The longest the wall is 10,000 kilometers long. Yeah. But uh, uh, the wall I mentioned is Ning Great Wall. Yeah. 600 years old wall is about uh, uh, 6,300 kilometers long. Uh, the west terminal, the wall, the west terminal of the wall is Jiayu Guang, uh, part of Gansu, uh, of Gansu Province in the in the in the west. Yeah. And uh, the east terminal of the wall is where we are going. In Hebei Province, but the the, the part is uh, Shanghai Guang Pass. <coughs> so, uh, have you ever heard about the first emperor in our history, uh, Qin Dynasty Emperor Emperor Qin Shi Huang? You know him. He's famous all over the world because uh, terracotta warriors was built by Qin Dynasty Emperor uh, to protect uh, his own tombs. Why I mention the first emperor? Because actually our first uh, famous Great Wall was also built by him uh, to protect against the Huns before 2,200 years ago. Uh, before 2,200 years, uh, actually before he conquered China, uh, the country was divided into seven parts. 
we have seven kingdoms. They always fight with each other. Uh, the seven kingdoms also build their own wall, but the wall is just like 300 kilometers long, 400 kilometers long. After Emperor Qin Shi Huang uh, conquered the whole country, yeah, conquered the other six kingdoms. He asked several million uh, civilian workers and also a lot of criminals, uh, soldiers to build the wall. The wall is like uh, 7,000 kilometers long. And that's also the oldest great wall, about 2,000 years old. But uh, unfortunately, we can also see them in Beijing. Only a little bit of the oldest great wall uh, left in Gobi, that uh, a very remote place because the wall itself is not very tough. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so in Qin Dynasty, uh, if somebody commits crime, we will get a four-year sentence to work on the wall. Uh, I think it's very tough work to work on the wall. Uh, so I think, uh, so in my opinion, just a few people that commit crime in Qin Dynasty. Uh, so do you think we can still make the uh, 6,000 kilometers long wall? Uh, if you, if you, uh, if you uh, have enough time, money and energy. What I mean is, do you think we still have 6,000 kilometers long wall or not? <coughs> No? So why not? Do you know? <laughs> because most of the wall was badly damaged. Yeah. Most of the wall, uh, nothing left nowadays. So we only have uh, 700 kilometers long wall. Last time I saw several, several tourists, they come from another group, they uh, started from the east terminal of the wall, Jiayu Guan Pass, yeah, to Wu Tianyu Great Wall. Uh, they have nine days tour just for Great Wall. So they make all the wall they can visit because most of them uh, were badly damaged so they could make the actually the 200 or 300 kilometers long wall in nine days if uh, if every day if we have the we still have 6,000 kilometers long wall maybe they have to make it in uh, two months yeah because most also make they make the 2,000 kilometers long wall in <coughs> in nine days but you will find the most tourists come to Beijing to see the Great Wall. Why I say that? Because we are going to another province to see the wall. Uh, because 90% of the remaining walls, about the six, uh, 600 kilometers long wall, are in Beijing. That's why all, almost all tourists come to Beijing to see the Great Wall. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard about the Badaling? It's a most tourist place. Don't feel. Uh, actually, it's a master city for Chinese people. Uh, Almost all Chinese go there if it's the first time for them to go to the wall. Because <laughs> uh, it was open to the public in 1952. Uh, That's why, uh, why almost all people go there. But don't feel regret because it's overcrowded all the time. <laughs> Especially in uh, high season from April to October. Yeah. So if you go there, even though it's weekday, mm. maybe in your picture, if you want to take a picture of the wall, maybe uh, no great wall, just the people have. For me, I prefer to stay there at home, stay at home rather than go there. Uh, and uh, actually, Jinxialing is a really quiet wall all the time. The most important reason, not so many tourists all the year. The most important reason is uh, Beijing government uh, will not make advertisement for that part of wall belongs to Hebei province. That's the most important reason. And the public transportation is not so convenient because it's really far and it, it's another not capital city. Yeah. Uh, but that's better for us. It's really quite great for all the time. Uh, and uh, and uh, actually, before 2010, I think you heard about the Sima Tai. Sima uh, Tai is much steeper than Jinxialing. Before 2010, if you join, join us, yeah, all the people can make two sections of the walls, like 10 kilometers, four hours hike. But unfortunately, it was closed in uh, June 2010 because local government spent a large amount of money to build a lot of old style buildings at the bottom of the wall uh, to attract more tourists. Actually, it uh, started to open to the public from the beginning of this year, uh, 2014, but it's more commercial than uh, Badali. Uh, it's very expensive to go there. And uh, <coughs> no matter how much money you pay, you cannot go to see Matai uh, from Jinxialing Great Wall because it belongs to different government. Yeah. But as I, I think, uh, uh, don't feel regret because I think the 22 watch towers uh, is enough for us. Uh, so do you know, uh, like, uh, we cannot see the oh, but we cannot see the oldest great wall, but we can also see original wall uh, nowadays, like Badali, Mu Tianyu, Zima Tai. Almost all the wall we see today, yeah, uh, they were built in the same time. <laughs> Ming Dynasty, about 600 
hundred years old. That's also the uh, last dynasty for Chinese people to build the wall. So do you know why we build the Ming Great Wall? Like, do you know who are our enemies in 14th, uh, 15th? Manchu. You got it. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Uh, like Mongolia is our enemy uh, in the early years of Ming Dynasty. You know, Mongolia, most of the Mongolian people, uh, <coughs> actually at the first year of Ming Dynasty, in 1368, uh, Genghis Khan, uh, Jin, uh, Genghis Khan, yeah, Genghis Khan, uh, the most famous Mongolian, not himself, his grandson, yeah, fight with us. At the first year of Ming Dynasty, uh, King, uh, King Kis Khan's grandson already escaped Beijing and go back to Mongolia, but uh, he's always aggressive. <laughs> yeah, he always sent out the troops to attack Beijing in order to get the lost territory back. And we are afraid of Mongolia because uh, they are stronger and taller than us, and they live in grasslands. They are good at shooting arrows and riding horses. We are afraid of them in the in the past. <laughs> and uh, uh, even though they are strong. The economic is not so strong. Uh, they are not so developed because it's grasslands area, so they always poor in, in ancient time. They always want to steal, rob something from the border area. Uh, so the emperor we also uh, sent a lot of troops to guard the wall all the time. If the Mongolians uh, invaded us in the daytime, uh, we will burn wolf's poop to relay military information in the daytime. Uh, if on the night we will light the fires on beacon towers to give a warning message. Uh, do you know why we uh, burn wolf's poop uh, in ancient time, in the, in the daytime, to relay military information? Why we burn it? <laughs> because we have many wolves in Martinez area in the past. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you cannot find wolves when you hike on the tail. Uh, maybe you, sometimes you can find the lizards and the squirrels when you hike on the wall. Probably. Uh, it sounds weird, but even nowadays, if you go to Inner Mongolia, uh, the the north, the north of Beijing, yeah, you will find the villages there. They also burn the dried sheep poop as a kind of view nowadays. Yeah. <coughs> so when we we, uh, we burn the wolf smoke for the we burn the wolf smoke for the because the smoke is very strong and it went straight and it could be seen from. Uh, three kilometers far away because we have one watchtower at every three kilometers uh, one by one actually it's much faster than riding holidays that's why we use it yeah. so after three hours the signal will be relayed until it reaches the forbidden city uh, finally the anchor in the forbidden city we know the information uh, because the war is from west to east so we, we know enemy come from east or west we will send the troops uh, to that direction then the whole country will be ready for the war in ancient time. Yeah. Uh, so I think we get there around the 12 o'clock. All the people have three hours hike. Uh, Mr. Liu, our driver, uh, will drop us off at the west gate. All the people walk all the way, uh, like six kilometers on the wall, meet each other at the other point named the east gate. That's our destination. Actually, actually it's the best way uh, to make this part wall because you walk very long distance from the first one to the last watchtower and we don't need to take the same way to come back <coughs> uh, and uh, uh, for all the people the money you paid of the tour into the entrance fee transportation uh, we don't have lunch Mr. Liu and I don't have lunch either so if you want to order something to drink and eat when we get there or finish hike then the restaurant when you finish hike yeah, uh, near the east gate our destination uh, you need to buy it yourself remember to ask the price before you eat or drink something. Uh, it doesn't mean it charge you too much. They actually they charge the same price from all tourists, no matter you are Chinese or foreigners. Actually, uh, the villagers uh, at the bottom of are much nicer than, <laughs> than the villagers uh, at the bottom of Wu Tian Yu Kui Do you have any question to ask me? So we're, we're staying in uh, the province or we're going to another province? Yeah. Here is Beijing, but uh, it's uh, 140 kilometers far away, but just uh, 130 kilometers belongs to Beijing. The last uh, 10 kilometers belongs to Hebei province. Okay, so yeah. we're going to Hubei province. Hebei, yeah, Hebei. the north of Yellow River. Okay. Yeah, and I come from the south of Yellow River.
Will, will we will cross the Yellow River on the bus? No, right? yeah. we cannot see Yellow River. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, it's not here. <laughs> so maybe later. Okay. Uh, so it's a long way. We also have a break later. All the people have time to relax and go to a uh, restroom. Long drive. It's uh, it was just about nine o'clock when we left. I was gonna go on their ten kilometer hike the other day, and um, it left at something ridiculous, like seven in the morning. And it was a, it was not a nice day out, so I said, "Ah, forget it. I don't want to do it." Today looks like a much clearer day. A little bit of cloud cover. <coughs> so, decided to go for it. Plus, today is a Monday. And it's a good day to do a great wall trip on a Monday because most of the museums and attractions close on a Monday. Tin Shan Ling is where we start. Then we end at Si Ma Tai. have a uh, Backpacking China is their website downtown hostel and they're based I guess out of the same building as the hostel downtown Beijing Backpackers Hostel on Nanlu Gu So if you die of heat exhaust exhaustion, they know who to call. Backpacking China. We drop you at start. When you get on the wall, go left to Simatai, no right. The 22nd tower has five loopholes and there is a staircase at one side. When you get through the maybe the central business district up ahead. Uh, so morning everyone, uh, so now everybody start our journey to the Jing uh, Lin Great Wall uh, and my English name is uh, Diane, Diana, I think it's an easy name to remember because uh, my Chinese name is difficult for you to remember. Uh, so the wall is located, uh, the wall is the, uh, the, the furthest Great Wall compared with the other uh, Great Wall tours in the uh, travel agency. It's about 100 and uh, privately contracted with the hostel to take us for a great wall hike. We're doing um, you know I took a photo of it but I think it's gonna throw me off if I open Google Maps. Let's see. We're headed up to Jinshan Ling area. Tower, please get down from the staircase and turn right. I haven't read it, but I think we have a couple hours of uh, bus to get where we're going. So it was at least an hour to get to the airport. We're going a bit further. So I can read up on the Great Wall here. I got two guy books. <laughs> so. Actually, gonna pass, I think.